convert the frequency table above into a relative frequency table. So in order to do this problem, all we have to do is to convert this frequency column into a relative frequency column. So I'm just going to do that work right next door to this. So we're going to write relative frequency. So I'll just abbreviate so we don't have our column become too big here or too wide. The relative frequency. The way I'm going to do this is very easy. We take this total, this is the number of values we have in the table total, and we're going to divide each of these values by that total. So for the first class, we're going to take that 10, we're going to divide it by 28, and that will give us the relative frequency. And then we'll do 14 divided by 28, and then we'll do 4 divided by 28. And then, of course, if you did 28 divided by 28, you would just get 1, right? 28 divided by 28, you just get 1, which is what we should get, of course, for that answer. All right, so let's finish this work up here very quickly. So I'm going to do 10 divided by 28. And when I get my answer, I get 0.357, or 35.7%. 0 0.357. 0 .357. And 14 divided by 28 is going to give us 0 0.500, right? So because 14 is half of 28. And then we'll do 4 28ths, which is 1 7. So we'll do 4 divided by 28. We should get about 14% for that. Sure enough, we get 0.143 roughly. So we'll get um, 0 0.143. Okay, so that's our total, and if you sum this up, it'll add up to 1. And the last thing you might want to do is to come up with the percentages. This is something nice that we like to have, so we might as well do that while we're creating this relative frequency table. We'll come up with the class percentages. All you have to do to do that is move the decimal place over twice. In other words, multiply each of these by 100, right? That's the same as moving the decimal point over two places. And if you do that, you get 35.7%. 50.0% and 14.3% and of course that will add up to 100%. And there you have it. We just converted our frequency table into a relative frequency table.